Nine minutes past ten, you're on BBC Radio Chef. My question this morning to you is, did you ever go on any school trips abroad when you were at school? Uh, if you did, you might find yourself uh, staring at some forgotten film and starring in it. There are some films we're talking about now, taken by a South Yorkshire teacher in the 1970s. Could it be you? I'm joined in the studio by Wayne Slight to tell us about the films, how they were rediscovered and what's on them. Wayne, where did you find these lost films? Uh, well, they was given to me by my wife's sister. Uh, but they've been in the attic for about 15 years. So, so they were forgotten about, sort of thing. So, I says to her, is there any chance of getting them films, you know? I said, I, can, I think I've got another man that who can sort them out. Mm-hmm. Dave. So, and it was just simple, really. I just went and saw Dave and passed them on to him. Whose attic was it? It was my sister's, uh, my wife's sister's attic. And how did these films end up in that attic? <laughs> well, same again. She gave her, uh, Eric's wife gave him all the cine films and all his projectors and his cameras. And he, he, he was his uncle. So right, and just remind us who Eric is and then we've got the story. Eric Minto. Yeah. That's my wife's uncle. Uh, and it was Muriel Minto that passed all the cine film uh, the reels do right so here's the story so far folks eric was a teacher he took yes, kids on school yes. holidays he took eight millimeter films of silent films of them yes. they've ended up in an attic you ended up having them you then took them to dave cherry and bob's your uncle Dot man so today. good that's it isn't it uh, yeah. do, how many films were there there were five in all and, and what did they look like they were just round reels, you know. That that was just simple to me. I just thought. Have they got labels on them at all? No, there's no labels on them. Have they got soundtracks on them at all? No. Did you know what was going to be on them? I knew that it just said uh, Switzerland on one of them. So my wife said they're probably school trips. She had an idea because Eric always took the took them on school trips. The kids at school. You like to be off and away. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, we did, I, did, I had an idea. I did, you know, and sources. And the school we're talking about, we can now finally reveal, was? Uh, Lumwood Priory. They are, so it might be your school they're talking about, and if you went on those trips, you might be on these photos, and won't it be fun? So you've come in with that wonderful story. It is a good story, Wayne, and we're Thanks. only just starting yeah. to tell it, I think. You're with Dave Cherry, because it was to Dave Cherry you went with these silent 8 millimeter films made in the early 1970s. Uh, Dave, what did you think? Well, he, he brought them, and... Like you just said, there were five reels, uh, Ronnie, 57 minutes length. Uh, the only clue, there were three Super 8 films and two Standard 8. Standard 8 came before Super 8, so that was the clue. Roughly, stand, Super 8 came out in 65. So, the two mixes. Right, so there were no clues, and what I did, I just... Um, well, I digitised them. I got them onto um, onto a DVD, onto um, onto the computer, and I put them on two sites, two um, social media sites. Just as they were. Uh, no, I dissected them. I I got them down to nine minutes thirty seconds. You know, uh, from fifty-seven minutes, nine minutes. I buzzed. Just put nine minutes. Bit of music over the top, and I put on the film. Who are these kids? You know, on two sites. One's at YouTube, and one. There's a site called Old Pictures of Barnsley, run by a fellow in Manchester called George Rigglesworth. I phoned him, George, can I put these films on? <laughs> We've got a problem, George, we don't know. Put them on, Dave. Well, that was Saturday morning, Ronnie. Saturday morning they went on. Saturday night, 200 views. Today, um, Thursday, it passed 2,500 views this morning. I've just looked. It went ballistic. What are people saying about him? Well, I put the question, who oh, are these kids, which school is it, can you help us, unknown films, blah, blah, blah. And by Saturday night, I got the answer. Uh, a lady called Josie, Josie Hill came through, and, oh, it's me, Dave, blah, 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 when I was a young lass at 13. <laughs> 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 there were two trips, Ronnie. Um, they, um, the first one's 76, uh, to Switzerland, and the other one is 72, it's... Back to front the way around. You can tell it is by the yeah. quality of the film. Yeah. I thought yeah. that when I watched it this morning. Well, I could tell you all day about yeah. the difference. It's a, a standard eight came before at Super Eight. It's a bit technical. Um, 
and it's hard to do it's an hard process to do it. and as you know i've showed you these films yeah yeah on sheffield in the 19 1959 that can remember years ago um so i knew how to do it but we were just leaked if you like who were these kids you know and it, it was remarkable and I, I was astounded yeah the replies coming in you know well i'm very glad about that we'll hear a bit more about the tea. what did you make of the films themselves when you looked at them what are the bits that stick out for you good, good quality that stuck out on it good quality and what are the kids all doing what are the teachers all doing on well, their well, holidays? Well dressed. Andy Kershaw spotted this. Uh, well dressed kids. And, uh, you know, they're jumping about in the snow and they got the Eiger and all this. And, of course, what got me uh, as an old <laughs> bath like that, I'm 1972, going to Switzerland. Mm, not many went to Switzerland, Rory. You know, yeah. we, we were kids, you know, bread and yeah. kids, you know. So they must have had a, a few quid to, to go there. I know? love the, the, the different costumes they're all wearing. They've all got, yeah. lots of the girls have got long, long tangly hair, haven't they? Yeah. None of them's fat, I noticed as well, which is an interesting change. Well, Ronnie, you know, after the war, rationing and, you know, not many, you know, we, we didn't eat the stuff what we eat today. You know, that's another argument. But, yeah, but, well, look, back to your question. Lovely quality films. I could tell they've been done right. This fella, this Minto, uh, Eric Minto, expensive gear. And it was an expensive game, Ronnie. Um, funny, I just worked it out this morning uh, that those films, there's 15 50 foots. 15 50 foots comes to 57 minutes. <laughs> right, I worked it out. Listen to it, you, you like this. It, it equates today um, to over 700 quid. Those films today, like, would cost like, that. would have cost 700 quid. Dave, thanks. Uh, mm. We've also got Wayne who's here. We're going to talk more about that. There is a link to the film that Dave and Wayne are talking about. It's on the Radio Sheffield Facebook page. If you want to have a look at it, you can have a look while the next piece of music's playing. One of the pupils in the films has already been to see Dave and Wayne to have a proper look at it. If you were at Priory School in the 70s, you'll hear from one of your classmates there after this. But have a sneak look at the film while you listen to this. Yeah, everything to me. It's 19 minutes past 10, you're on BBC Radio Chef. We've been hearing some wonderful stories about some forgotten films recently been rediscovered in an attic in Barnsley. Auntie Muriel's partly responsible for it, and we'll hear more about it. The films shot by Eric Minto, who was a teacher at Priory School in Lundwood on school trips abroad in the early 1970s. Well, Wayne uh, Slight found them. Dave Cherry came in to talk about them and digitised the films he was describing them and one of the pupils got in touch with them and has been to have a proper look at them and our reporter Andy Kershaw went there too. He's been saved so I've like contacted as many people as I can obviously um, but yeah everybody's really amazed by it. And yeah. how old are you in these films? Um, I'm 13 yeah so long time ago. Wow <laughs> yeah. and what do you remember about it was a trip abroad? It, it was a trip abroad yeah school trip uh, to Switzerland Interlaken in Switzerland yeah so yeah really good yeah. And we're all desperate to know what Mr Minto was like what kind of a person was he? Oh, uh, Mr. Minto, very old school, very good. Um, he, he's the one with, the, well, obviously had the camera all the time, so he, was, he used to follow people around. But he was a maths teacher. He was a maths teacher. Was he um, popular? Very popular, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a good teacher, yeah, definitely popular. And how many of you went on this trip? Oh, goodness. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I would imagine that I think there were about 30, 30 people went, yeah. And I remember going on coach and we were there for like, on coach for about two days, so we were all really shattered. Uh, but yeah, yeah. And 40 times. years later, nearly. 40 years later, nearly, this yeah. This film comes to life. Obviously you knew it shot it. Had you ever seen it before? To be honest, I've completely forgotten because it's such a long time ago. No, I, I've never seen it before, no. Yeah, so, yeah. And obviously Dave has digitised it, he's put it on Facebook and pictures of yeah, old Barnsley yeah, yeah, and yeah, on right. YouTube. When did you spot it? Um, someone tagged me in Facebook, a, a lady who I used to go to school with, she were in our class, Diane Thelwell, um, and someone on her Facebook had spotted me and recognised me, and so she tagged me in because she's on my Facebook friends list, and that's how it happened, so oh, yes. good old Facebook. Wow. <laughs> and according to Dave, Dozens of them have come forward already. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, as I say, I've tagged, I, I've tagged who I can in, um, and you know, there's obviously a lot of people on there that I recognise. Um, it is a compilation, obviously, and I hadn't realised that as my sister were watching it, um, she's on the last date. So yeah, that's amazing. So I'm on at the beginning, and my sister's on at the end. So. Yeah. So where are, where are you now then? That's me right in the middle of the screen there. Got me back of my head there. <laughs> 
the show with white edging. There I am oh, turning oh. round. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know all that is with young people. So we're looking at young people with adults. Is, a, a, is, a, is that a young lass or a lad I'm there? Sure a t-shirt. Yes. <laughs> you look know. very boyish. <laughs> no. I do look just like a Yeah, that's me, you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do look like a boy. They're very well dressed up children, look as though they are going on a trip somewhere, don't they? Yeah, it's really funny because I've got that bag on and I remember that bag that I've got. It's a priory school satchel and I remember it so well. How weird is that? Oh goodness, that's my sister on the left. What's that's her name? Linda Shan. And is that her friend? Uh, yeah, Jane Watmore. Oh. And they look as though they're in some kind of shipyard there. They're always yeah, on the ferry. That's, that's, yeah, that's on the ferry. On the ferry. That's in 1972 and they went on a school trip to Belgium, I understand. And yeah, that's on the ferry. Oh, you weren't on that? No, trip, I right? weren't on that one. Um, Linda's, that's Linda, she's my older sister. Yeah, so... How many foreign trips did you go on in the 70s then? <laughs> yeah, it's the, well, the, this, I think they went once a year and it was sort of like two years. So, so like I were in, um, I was 13, so it was 13 and 14 year olds. Um, and I think they were 14 and 15 year olds. So you feel like got two school years. 70s haircuts and yeah, 70s big lapels and jumpers that. and tank yeah, tops. Yeah, my goodness, look at that haircut, that's yeah. amazing. Do you remember your sister with that haircut? <laughs> Um, I, yeah, yeah, I can remember it. <laughs> crombie on. Yeah. Everybody wore crombies, of course. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. So funny. That's our reporter Andy Kershaw talking to one of the pupils on the forgotten films we've been talking about, Josie Webb, as she was then. You can see the whole footage by following the link on our Facebook page, BBC Sheffield Facebook page. If you spot yourself, I really would like to hear from you this morning. It's obviously a great delight to suddenly find yourself in a film 40 years later. I'm in the studios uh, with uh, Wayne Slight, who's responsible for what happened next, and with Dave Cherry, who has saved it and put it on the websites forever and ever. Amen. What did you think when you looked at it all again Wayne what, what does it do to you oh it's it's brilliant isn't it for these kids you know well they're not kids no more they're, they're adults mm. aren't they? and uh, I think I'm doing I think I'm doing right thing oh, I'm sure you've done yeah, the right thing yeah. what, what do you make of, of that kind of lost world the kids they're talking about what the hair used to be oh, like all yeah. their crombies and, the and all crombie that. Coats and yeah. that it brings back memories you know when I were at school and that we all ate, we all ate crumbies and mm. uh, umbrellas umbrella. can you remember umbrella, <laughs> black umbrellas yeah, and yeah. we used to have even at some yeah uh, but it, yeah it brings good memories back yeah and I can under I can understand why Josie's speaking like that because she's never actually seen the film and it'd be lovely if we could get get them all you know to actually see the the film i was struck there were lots of things they made me smile I, i've never been yeah. to that school and i don't know any of the people on the film but i smiled at it because it brought up yeah. all kinds of memories for me as well one of the things that did surprise me and i'm going to challenge you about it dave is is, is the music you chose which includes this funny song about uh, i'm a dreamer aren't we yeah. all from 1930 odd why have you chosen old music like that because um, i thought it was it fitted, it fitted right. Um, that music, I'll tell you, it's from uh, Boardwalk Empire, you know, the American yeah, game yeah. series. And it's, uh, um, it's a lot of that. Uh, I love that sort of. But those it's kids on this thing would have been, I don't know, they'd certainly be post Beatles. They'd be listening yes, to yes, electric yeah. music. And well, I, 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 I felt, you know, you, obviously, with there being silent films, you've got to pick something. You've got to pick summit. So that's why I picked that lot. Um, I, it fits. I might be wrong, but no, I'm it, just it asking. The mood, you know. What do you make of the way the kids behave on the film? It's almost as if they're not used to being filmed. I, well, they still, you know, they used to say, "Come on, move!" You know, they, at a wedding, they make them walk, <laughs> make them wait. <laughs> you see, I, I, I was just telling you, yeah. old lady, you know, we had no. When I I, I come up through the fifties, we had nothing. And my mum used, to, my mum was posh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to calithropies. I says, "Mum, it's calithops, <laughs> not calithropies." <laughs> and then muddy come. Be. Mam, oh, uh, uh, <laughs> we had no, you know. No. So it, obviously the clue were there. These were kids from a, a let's call it, a family school, and they paid for this uh, school only. Oh, no doubt that it skinned them, you know, the mums mm. and dads, you know. But yeah. Mm. Good. Thank you ever so much indeed. The the comedy of of, of this, and it's a great film, and yes. people will let me know when they've seen it. Mm. I hope they get in touch this morning to say they've looked at it via the Facebook pages. You, 
our whole conversation, you, me, and uh, and Wayne, have been photographed on a movie camera today. Why are we we've been filmed again talking well, about an old movie, talking about an old movie? Because I'm from Agnonson in yes. New yeah. Zealand. <laughs> well, you look at you chuffing about on the radio with, well, with us. Well, Rory, I've already been on here 84 times. <laughs> I've, lost, I've been on more than you. No, no, you, I get paid for it. Thanks ever so much for coming in, you two. It's lovely. If you want to find out more about the films, you can look at the link on our Facebook page. And if you do spot yourself, I'd love to hear from you this morning. I'm on Odeable one four two seven nine double six double nine texting Sheffield eight one three double three. Thanks ever so much, you two, for coming. See you, mate. Thank you. Twenty seven minutes first. Thank you. BBC Radio Sheffield. We're looking for your stories. I like to know scotch with my friends 